What are the implications for NATO if if Britain keeps, you know, nudging closer and closer to what certainly sounds like war, direct war with Russia? Well, the English-speaking countries have uh, fully embraced this false narrative about Russia and Ukraine. Uh, they staged the coup and installed a government in Kiev, which was from its inception fundamentally hostile and anti-Russian. Uh, the war that we're now witnessing was cultivated over many years, not just over the last eight. Uh, certainly the deaths of 14,000 people in eastern Ukraine as a result of Ukrainian aggression against the Russians in their own country was part of it. But this, is, this has been a long-term process that has now put the Russians in the position of fighting an existential threat. For Russia, Ukraine's membership in NATO means that it becomes a permanent platform for attack against Russia. They will not tolerate that. They have no choice but to fight this to the finish. Most Europeans, I think, are completely disinterested in fighting this war. I'd be surprised if most people in Britain uh, necessarily want conscription to be announced and tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of British troops to be sent to the continent to fight the Russians. Uh, I think the Russians will fight this to the bitter end, right up to the Polish border. And if we continue to fight uh, from Poland, then Poland will become part of the war. This is a catastrophe for NATO. NATO is not going to survive this experience. It will crumble. That's already happening behind the scenes. And Germany, of course, sits at the center of all of this. And the Germans have absolutely no interest in a war with Russia any more than most of the rest of Europe Europeans do.